All right. Um, so I was reading, I think it was The Physics of Wall Street. Um, I just, I just bought it for, on my iPad and I want to go get it at Barnes and Noble as well. I want, I want like a hard copy of it as well. Just for leisure reading, man, if men gets a hold of Wall Street, we're in trouble, yo. Like he hasn't even. He hasn't even touched Wall Street yet. Like he hasn't even touched Wall Street. Min is, Min is like an archaeologist. Everything you're reading is like old history. He hasn't even touched the future yet. I just read the like the I think the the pre, the preface the preface the like the beginning part of the book. It's not even into the book yet. The physics of Wall Street. Um, I think it's the physics of Washington. Man, if men gets a hold of it, we're in trouble, man. Yeah, so <clears throat> The Physics of Wall Street by James Owen Weatherall. Weatherall. This book. I just got it on my iPad and I want to get it at Barnes and Noble to get a hard copy. And the person they're talking about, he, he's worth $10 billion and he's a physicist. He's a theoretical physicist. He, he's not a banker. Um, or a finance expert. He's an expert in predicting. That, that's what physics is. It's predicting, you know, string theory. It, it's predicting the past, but it's still predicting, right? It's not predicting the future. So he has a mastery of predicting what the past is, but it's still predicting. So the difference with um, that predicting the past and what I do is predicting the future. That's what finance is, is predicting the future. Um, the difference between predicting the past, what a physicist does and what I, Kimberly, and men do is we predict the future, right? So we take all the skills of a physicist and we just go light speed into the future, right? That's what we do. Um, so if we get a hold of Wall Street, I only read... I only read a page, like two pages into it, and I'm already having ideas. They're talking about bonds and, yeah, they're talking about bonds and, and things like that. And I'm like, whoa, wait, I don't even know exactly what bonds are, but I, I get an idea of what it is. It's, it's, um, it's just a measure of predicting, right? So you create a bond. This is my understanding of it. So you create a bond and go like, for example, Nintendo is going to have touchscreen in five years, right? And you create this bond and you're like, we're gonna give all the money to Nintendo. And if they actually create it, I get 15%, you get 15%, but we're giving them money to create it. That's a bond, right? And if you create the bond, you get a little bit more money, a, little, a bigger percentage of the bond. And then you can create as many bonds as you want. That's my understanding of what bonds are, right? I haven't looked into it yet. 
it's just a guess, right? But look, it's just a bunch of jargon, all right? Just simplify it. It's not that hard to understand, right? So you create this guess that Nintendo will create touchscreen, right? And then you get all that money to Nintendo, and when they do it, you get a big percentage of that profit, right? So, um, so I'm I'm trying to look at it. I'm like, where can bonds go? So that's all. Um, the crash in two thousand eight. That's all it was. It was like an insurance bond, and they're like, well, housing will be booming by two thousand ten. And then put all your money into it. It didn't work out. They lost money. That's all it was. So it's a it's a type of bond. So I'm like, what? Like, how can I simplify it? Like, I don't know. Is Susie going to tie her shoelaces by two years old? You know, like. How can I simplify this so that people can understand it and create bonds of their of of their own? Right? Right now it's too complex. It's like physics, it's like rocket science, it's like NASA. It's like, how do you predict the future? How? Nobody knows. Me and men included, like, we don't know. So I'm trying to help everybody out by simplifying it, put it into a book, put it into a video, and help people out. So I'm like. Is Susie gonna tie her shoelaces? I'm trying to simplify. Put all your money into it. Sh Susie is gonna tie her shoelaces by two years old, by three years old, right? And then if she does it, you know, we get 15%, 20%, right? So I'm trying to simplify it to that, where we can predict something that is very predictable, right? Not reaching Mars by... You know, that's, that's just too complex. Even I don't understand that. Like, nobody could have predicted Elon Musk going to Mars. Nobody. Nobody could have predicted that. We thought he was just making cars. And then all of a sudden, he's going to Mars? Nobody could predict that. So I want to simplify it to, like, Susie is going to tie her shoelaces by three years old. Like, something like that, right? It Right now, it's very abstract. Um... Just like in um, a theoretical physicist, like they're they're dealing with abstract stuff, and you want to you want to simplify, simplify it so the most average person can understand it. Right now, Susie tying her shoelaces by three years old is it's so abstract. It really is. It's so, it's so hard to understand by Wall Street standards. If I if I pitch that to Wall Street, right? For example, if I pitch. Susie is going to tie her shoelaces by three years old to Wall Street. They're like, what are you, a PhD student? Like, what, what are we supposed to do with that? It's too complex. It's way too complex. How are we supposed to predict that? And who's Susie, right? Wall Street's like, yo, that's, it's too complex. You need to simplify that more. It has to be one plus one equals two so we can understand, right? So here's going to Mars. Here's Susie tying her shoelaces by three years old. We need one plus one equals two so Wall Street can understand it. All right. So I'm, I'm looking, I'm like, okay, so what about English? What about grammar? Like, what can we predict in this? All right. Keep it right here. All right. Remember the same thing with brainstorming. What do we got? What do we have? What can we predict with what we have? Brainstorm. So I have English and grammar, right? I'm brainstorming, right? I'm like, what can I work with in this? And what can I predict and create a bond according to this? I don't know, man. Like, right, like. By. 2030, everyone is going to be writing a novel. It's, it's still too complex. Like, 
Like, what is it? Like, is everyone gonna write a novel by 2030? How do you make money from that? Like... Yeah, I just wanted to make a video on, on bonds, on, on how bonds work, but I don't have any clue on what... And forget my hair, man, my hair is just like... It's like it thinks it's his, it's his birthday or something. Like, it's so wavy and stuff. Like, I don't know why. Um. So, forget my hair. It's just... It's like a party. Um. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm trying to work on the grammar. Like, it has to be grammar. Like... Is everyone gonna be fluent in two languages by 2030? I don't, I don't know, man. So, find and fix the most common grammatical mistakes. Learn common sense tips that help you write. And so I'm just, I'm just grabbing what I have and I'm trying to make a bond out of it. That's all it is. That's predicting the future. Right, just grab something you have and just read it and try to make a bond out of it. New, latest conventions, comma, from punctuation to social media. I don't... I'm just trying to go through and try and find something. After, so, after watching some TV, we went to bed. After it, we went to bed. I don't... I'm trying to find something to create a bond out of. Yeah, and the asteroid is just... The asteroid hitting the Earth, that's just a rogue asteroid. It's not magic. And the volcano that, that took down Atlantis and Lumeria is... Um, as Donald Trump would say, that's... <laughs> That's just bad location. So I don't have a solution for batteries. <laughs> I was just joking around. So we can have like um like a like a venture bl blonde a venture bond where we reach africa by 2040 right instead of going to mars we can reach africa and build in the desert um a farm whatever we need um we have chip shortages we can build a chip factory in the desert right the sand is right there and i can create that bond so we can go to africa or australia um the arizona desert covers most of most of the state the mississippi valley is the country's biggest drainage system the italian coast south of naples is world famous the sierra nevada mountains contain many active volcanoes so i'm just trying to create a bond out of something boston tea party great depression prohibition reformation new deal war on poverty So here, here's what I'm reading from. Boston Tea Party, Great Depression, Prohibition, Reformation, New Deal, War on Poverty, World War II. That war on poverty sounds interesting. Bookmark it. Declaration of Independence, Treaty of Paris, Monroe Doctrine, Marshall Plan, Federal Housing Act, Social Security.
Baroque art, classical philosophy, cubism, jazz, naturalism, romanticism, transcendentalism. So the two things that are interesting to me, the two things that are interesting to me is the war on poverty and social, social security. So the war on poverty and social, social security. Um, it just doesn't work. Poverty, like poverty is a business for poor people. They want to stay poor. It's a business, right? It's like, um, it's like cocaine. It's a business. Poor people want to stay poor. They want to stay poor. That's a bad business plan. And social security, um, allowing them to stay poor, that's a business plan on, on America as well. We lose a lot of money in social security. We lose a lot of money. We're better off teaching them. We are better off educating them and getting them out of poverty. We're better off doing that than allowing them to stay poor. Right? So I'd rather use social security money um, to educate them, put them back in school. So, so I want to create a bond um, doing that. I think that's what I want to do. So that's my bond. So other people can create other. Look, I don't. I don't think for. Every, I don't think for Ariel. I don't think for Anna. I don't think for Catherine. I don't think for Margaret. I don't think for Nicole. I don't think for Rose. Men. I don't. I don't think like you, right? Men. Would think would create a Nintendo Switch. I would create a bookmark. See how different we are. So I don't think like you. So this is my idea, and it's just my idea, right? So men would create a Nintendo Switch. I would create a bookmark. You see how different everyone thinks. So that's why we need people to create bonds. We need you. Don't sit there and go, oh, save the world for us. Don't do that. If men creates a Nintendo Switch, Ariel needs to create a bookmark. If Anna creates a Nintendo Switch, Margaret needs to create a bookmark. If Catherine creates something, Nicole needs to create something. That's how the world should work. It's not, oh, you create this. I'm not going to do anything. Don't do that. If someone does something, you need to do something as well. Okay? No matter what it is. So that's my thing. Um, where I want to go after... I want to go after poverty. And I want to go after um, social, social security. Um, you're, you're, you're really better, like, social security has no end. It has no end to it. All right. But if we use social security to educate, that social security will, will start to disappear. Because people will realize, oh, we're not supposed to be poor. And then you will no longer need social security. See? Right now? Social security will just keep going on and on with no end. But if we put trillions of dollars into re-educating, right? So they grow up and they miss some lessons. That's okay. We're going to educate you. Okay? So put trillions of dollars in bonds into educating, building new schools, new preschools for adults, and re-educating them that that poverty that is almost increasing that poverty is just going to start dipping and dipping and dipping to a point where you're no longer going to need social security no longer need it it's going to disappear all right poverty will disappear once the general public realizes poverty is not a good business plan it is not good. 
it wastes a lot of money. So we waste maybe three trillion dollars and we profit hundreds of trillions of dollars. Okay, I'm willing to lose three trillion to profit a hundred, two hundred trillion. If we educate them well enough, I'm willing to risk that. So I'll create a bond that says, give me three trillion. Give me three trillion and I will educate these people. And then Warren Buffett, Bill Gates, everyone puts in three trillion and you get 5%, you get 5%, I get 15% because I know what I'm doing. I create the bond. I get 15% and now we make money. And we get rid of the social security. Because that is, we are pouring in money that never ends. We are just losing money that doesn't end. Right? It has to end. Poverty has to dip. It has to disappear. Okay? So that's my bond I want to create. All right, give me three, five trillion, and I promise you I can re-educate them. All right, that's my pitch in my bond. Now, what Ariel's bond is, I don't know. What men's bonds are, I don't know. All right, but you need to copy me. Once I create a bond, you need to create one, and then the next person. All right, don't go, oh, men is saving the day. How heroic. Oh, Kimberly is saving the day. How heroic. Don't do that. Chill out. Go, oh, Kimberly's doing something. I need to do something. Men is doing something. I need to do something. All right, stop with this hype train. We don't need it anymore. All right, if Kimberly comes up with something, you need to come up with something. If men comes up with something, you need to come up with something, all right? Of course, we celebrate each other, blah, 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 but like, move on. Move on, do something. So that's what I want to do. I want to tackle Social Security. It looks like, it looks like a problem. It looks like a problem, man. Like, we are losing money, and I don't like losing money. I don't like it. Um... So yeah, that's that's my idea. To tackle Social Security, I want to create a bond. Um, give me th three, five trillion. And I, I promise you I can re-educate them. And, and poverty will disappear. I promise you. Social Security will disappear. See, that's three trillion as opposed to... What is Social Security? 500 million each year, 500 million, steady, 500 million each year, each year, 500 million. I'm saying give me a steady three, five trillion, just three trillion, just three trillion. That's all I need. And I will eliminate social security and poverty. Just give me three trillion, not a steady 500 million. Not a steady 500 million. All right. So that's the bond I want to create. 